Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels and we join you once again from the Paris Air and Space Show and I'm joined today by Magali Vassier who is the Director of Telecommunications and Integrated Applications at ESA. Now today she signed a joint statement with 16 industry leaders for satellites for 5G. Now what are we talking about with 5G? I have 3G on my phone, I know some people who have 4G, what's 5G? 5G is uh, the next generation of uh, communication, uh, mobile communication networks, but it's not only uh, that for the satellite community, because we see that as a huge opportunity uh, offering uh, new possibilities for uh, new usage uh, for, of satellite technology. So for the people who don't understand the technology behind their cell phones, are satellites involved in cell phone uh, data usage today? They are, but uh, for a modest part, and we believe that uh, if we, as the satellite community, take part of the uh, early definition of what could be these 5G networks, then we will make sure that the satellite role is bigger. So we see uh, a lot of opportunities to use a satellite that maybe the terrestrial people don't think of, and we want to demonstrate what we can bring to them. Okay, so what was laid out in the agreement today? So the agreement is an agreement between uh, 16 signatories, including ESA, uh, with uh, the other 15 are uh, industrialists, uh, operators or manufacturers. We have decided to join forces to primarily demonstrate the capability of satellite in some use cases, so in some pilot cases, but that would be represented representative enough of um, operational, if you like, services in the future. And with, based on the result of these uh, trials, we believe that uh, the, um, many t uh, telecom operators will be convinced that uh, satellite should be part of their solution. Networks will be, in the future, more complex than in the past. They will, they will probably be based on a mixture of technologies, including satellite. Can you give me an example of one of these trials? Uh, emergency cases, for instance, what you want to do is to communicate with, uh, with um, special uh, vehicles uh, and you, you have to make sure that communications will always be uh, available. And when uh, all the terrestrial means are, uh, cannot uh, operate anymore for any kind of reason, providing uh, access, communication services uh, to people who are located in, uh, let's say, very isolated areas, like in mountains or in islands, or, uh, or where it would be much uh, too expensive to deploy terrestrial solutions. So there, again, I mean, you, you will see uh, that we can demonstrate that the satellite will be eventually the most cost-efficient uh, solution. Now, looking ahead to the next months, what, what is your role? What is your job now? Our job is really to federate, if you like, the energies of all these uh, industrialists uh, together with us to define the, the most um, representative trials uh, and at the same time uh, cooperate with the terrestrial world, if I can call them like this, uh, to uh, coordinate our efforts with the, the, the European Commission, which is uh, extremely active in organizing, if you like, the terrestrial players uh, for the 5G, because it's also a very important um, business perspective for all of us. So um, our job will be really a job of facilitator, making sure that we coordinate effort as much as we can, as much as, as relevant as it is, uh, and, uh, and uh, make sure that the role of satellite will be the biggest uh, possible for the future. Okay. Well, Magali, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember to learn more about satellites and 5G, visit our website, www.isa.int.